A Man Apart Part 2 The Poetry of the Disconnected Man What is this joy that you speak of? This joy that was to make life a chest of warm memories. Here I sit as part of the living in my solace as an empty man. The wrinkles in my brow permanently etched where wisdom and tragedy play on the lawn as siblings. A man with no country, no home and no kin. Entering a junction with no signs to rest. On the rainiest day, I observed my face in a puddle where tears outline its sculpture like a river before drowning. In the height of dusk, I prayed that the Most High deliver me from purgatory in my slumber, only to be awakened by the majesty of the sun, where I shunned its brightness and cursed its generosity. The somber skies and I belong together, for the dawn, I tried to befriend, but we could never hit it off. Maybe it's just me, for it makes acquaintances easy. In my youth, I found refuge in a Ouija board that found its way in my presence. No need to spell it out. I knew to keep it a secret as it wanted to pull me into its abyss. And in my fear, the moon and the sun frowned upon my resistance. But there I go again, forsaken friendship. And my resistance is still present, but these days it's my heart. For life gives us seasons and how I would adore the ascendancy of spring's blossoms where her tender touch gives me life as we create our own. Though I have none to call my own. And though her love is a striving after the wind, still I storm chase. As she prostitutes her affections to enticements and flashes of virility. And in my thoughts, I can only wish to be in her afterthoughts. Taking refuge once more. And now my soul frowns at her resistance. The grave is such a gracious host. With his doors always open. Making my favorite pastries. So happy to see me. Keeping my seat warm. The most reliable companion. Oh, faithful. But this relationship is one sided for it only calls me when it wants something, never to shoot the breeze. I find a moment of ease in the face of an infant as they gaze into my soul fearlessly, reading me as they stay wrapped in a sanctuary of innocence. They have no say in their garments. In my ensemble, so tailor-made, Fragments of pain with splashes of wizardry, though polished, still disheveled, for I cannot hide my gaze from passerbys. My eyes tell the story of a man in uniform assigned to guard the borders on a holiday without a soul in sight.